Hello everyone. Once again, welcome to Subnetting Q&A series. Guys, till now we have discussed ten question of subnetting, and today we are going to discuss five more important question of subnetting. So, without wasting our time, let's begin. So, first question for the day is this one. This is your first question for today, and question is: You need to subnet a network that has five subnets. How many subnets? Five subnets. So you need to create five subnets, and each subnet with at least sixteen hosts. So you need at least sixteen valid hosts per subnet. Okay, your requirement is very simple. Fine. Now, which subnet mask will be your choice? Which subnet mask will be your choice? Which subnet mask you will use to fulfill to fulfill your requirement? So my requirement is. Very simple. We need five subnets, and each subnet has at least sixteen host. Fine. So, guys, actually, we can't create five subnets. Either we can create two subnets, four subnets, eight subnets, sixteen subnets, thirty-two subnets, like this, right? So, we need to create five subnets. So, I will create eight subnets. How many subnets? Eight subnets. Okay. So, what is the formula to calculate subnets? By the way. formula to calculate number of network is 2 to the power n where n is borrow bit where n is borrow bit borrow bit means number of network bits bits that's goes in host bit right number of network bits that that goes in host bit so if i will put n equals 1 then how many network i will get i will get 2 to the power 1 that means two network right my requirement is not fulfilled So if I will put n equals two, then how many network I will get? Two to the power two. That means four. Again, my requirement is not fulfilled. So I will put n equals three. Then I will get two to the power three. That means eight subnet. My requirement is fulfilled, right? Now, so I will put n equals three. That means I will borrow three bits from my neighbor, right? And by default, as you can see on all option, here is. Slash twenty four are common, right? That means my default network is from class C. Okay, so if I will borrow three bits for class C, actually by default C I D R value is twenty four, and if I will borrow three more bits, then slash value will be twenty seven. And what will be the subnet mask for slash twenty seven? Subnet mask for twelve slash twenty seven will be. Two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot two two four. What will be the block size? Block size will be two fifty six minus two two four, and you will get thirty two, right? So your block size is thirty two. Am I right? Now, guys, your block size is thirty two. We are using slash twenty seven, and block size is thirty two. So if we have A block size of 32. That means definitely I will get how many how many valid IP address per subnet 30 because formula is 2 to the power h minus 2 to calculate valid host. This is the formula to calculate valid host. So if I talk about the size of IPv4, size of IPv4 is 32 bits, right? So out of this 32 bits, 27 bits are network bits. So how many host bits are there? Minus 27, 32 minus 27, so you will get 5. So there are 5 host bit. So h equals 5. So 2 to the power 5 minus 2, 32 minus 2, you will get 30 IP address, 30 valid IP address per subnet. So which one is your right answer? For slash 27, subnet mask will be 255 dot 255 dot 255 dot 224, right? So option B is your. Right answer, right? And you are getting 30 valid host per subnet, and uh, your requirement is at least 16 host per subnet, right? So option B is your right answer. Let me move on your next question, right? Question number 12, right? And question is, question is, what is the subnetwork number? Wait, guys, what happened? Okay. Yes. What is the sub-network number of a host with an IP address 
172.16.66.0/21 what will be the sub network number right so that means what will be the network id of this ip address so this is a valid ip address i think this is a valid ip address let me check so first of all what will be the subnet mask 4/21 subnet mask 4/21 will be 255.255.248.0 so block size will be 256 minus 248 you will get 8 over here 00, zero right so block size is 8 right block size is 8 so what will be the first network id first network id is 172.16.66 not 66 0.0 second network will be 172.16. block size 8.0 here third network will be 172.16.16.0 right and so on guys there will be one network like 172.16.64 when i will add 8 over here then you will get 8 then again you will add 8 then you will get 16 then again you will add 8 8 8 8 8, 8 then you will get 64 after that 64.0 then you will add 8 more over here then you will get 172.16. if you will add 8 over here you will get uh, 8 if you will add 8 so 2 or 772.0 so what will be the last IP address of this network of this network 172.16.71.255 am I right 71.255 so guys this ip address belongs to which network this network right so this is the network id of this ip address this is the network id of this ip address or there is one trick right and trick is you need to find block size block size is 8 now you can divide this 66 by 8 66 by 8 so 8 after that you will get 64 over here then you will get 2 over here now you need to subtract 2 from 66 so 66 minus 2 you will get 64 this is your network id 172.16.64.0 right so which option are right on answer option a option a is your right answer of this question okay let me move on next question question number 13 so question number 13 is this one and question is subnet the network 203.10.93.0 slash 24 into 30 subnets now how many subnets we need 30 subnet right is 203.20.93.30 is a valid ip address or not right answer is question is this one is a valid ip address after submitting or not yes or no right so guys if we need 30 subnet so what will be the value of n if i will put n equals 1 then i will get 2 subnet if i will put n equals 2 then i will get 4 subnet if i will put n equals 3 then i will get 8 subnet if i will put n equals 4 then i will get 16 subnet and if i will put n equals 5 then i will get 32 subnets because 2 to the power 5 is 32 now my requirement is fulfilled right so here we need to borrow 5 bits right here we need to borrow 5 bits and by default this ip address belongs to which class class 6 this ip address class c by default this ip address is belongs to class c so for class c cidr value is by default cidr value is 24 and if i will borrow 5 more bits so what will be the slash value slash value will be 29 right and what will be the subnet mask for slash 29 255.255.255.248 .255 what will be the block size block size will be 256 minus 248 you will get 8 over here right so block size is 8 
right so your first network will be 200 203.10.93.0 second network will be 93 93.8 after that 93.16 after that 93.24 93.32 so 32 right and here is 30 so guys what will be the last IP address of this network 93.31 so 93.30 is a valid IP address right so this one is valid IP address so right answer of this question is yes option A right this one is a valid IP address still this one is a valid IP address no yes or no yes or no is it a valid ip address is it a valid ip address so no this is a network id this is your first network okay now let me move on next question question number 14 so question number 40 is this one and question is guys this is good question right and this is important question as well now understand you are given the ip address of 193.103.93.0/24 right so this is your network id and need 50 subnets how many subnets we need here 50 right how many hosts per network and total networks do you get on subnetted so how many sub network you will get and what will be the valid host per subnet are your question okay so guys if i need 50 subnets right so what what value of n i will put if i will put n equals 5 then i will get 2 to the power 5 32 ip address if i will put 2 to the power 6 then i will get how many ip address 60 how many network 64 networks right if i will put n equals 5 then i will get 32 subnets right if i will put n equals 6 then i will get 64 subnets so here is my requirement here my requirement is fulfilled so if i will put n equals 6 n equals 6 then what will be the slash value so by default slash value is 24 and if i will borrow 6 more bit then slash value will be 30 for slash 30 what will be the subnet mask 255.255.255.2250 right 250 so guys what will be the block size block size will be not 250 you will get 252 right 252 and what will be the block size block size will be 256 minus 252 that means 4 okay so in each network how many ip add how many valid ip address are there two ip address actually you are getting four ip address so out of four ip address one is network id and last one is broadcast id so there will be two valid ip address and how many network are there right if i am i am putting n equal six then how many network i am getting 64 network right so 64 subnet and 64 subnet your option c and option a is your wrong answer now you are getting six host per subnet no so option b is wrong how many subnet you are how many valid host you are getting per subnet two valid host right so option d is your right answer of this question right option d actually block size is two that means your first network will be 193.103.93.0 second network will be 93.2 sorry block size is 4 now block size is 4 so 93.4 after that 93.8 so what will be the last ip address of this network 93.7 right so this is your network id and this is your broadcast id so valid ip address is 93.5 and 93.6 so there is only two valid ip address so you can see there is only two host 
okay now let me move on next question and last question of the day right so right answer of this question is option d fine now let me move on last question last question is this one okay and question so last question is your company has has been given the ip address of 199.2.1.0/24 to the subnet you plan to put each of the five floor in your building on its own subnet so here five floor are there right so you need to create five subnet so you will create eight subnet actually right so if you will create eight subnet then what will be the slash value slash value will be 27 slash 27 by default slash is 24 and you will borrow three bits so when you will borrow three bits then slash value will be 27 okay now what is the range of last available network on your subnet last network id what will be the range of last network okay so guys what will be the subnet mask for slash 27 255.255.255.224 what will be the block size block size will be 32 256 minus 224 so if block size is 32 then what is your first network id first network is 199.2.1.0 second network is 192.2.1.32 third network will be 1.64 fourth network will be 1.96 and uh, fourth network fifth network will be see your network one network two network three network four and network fifth is one dot you will add uh, 32 in 96 so 32 9 6 plus 2 8 and 9 plus 3 is 12 right 128 then this is your network number six after that one dot you will add 32 over here then you will get 0 and 3, 5, 150. Then again you will add 32. So 183 you will get 183. Okay. Here you will get 60 now. 60. Am I right? So 32. Yes. 60, 160. Here you will get 192 after that this network 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 last network will be 1.192 plus 32 so you will get uh, 4 and 12 to 2 to 4 right 2 to 4 and what will be the last IP address of this network 1.255 so range is this one this is the range of last network right last network will start from 199.2.1.224 and this network will end on 1.255 right so which one is right answer option a no option b no option c 224 and 255 yes right so option c is your right answer of this question fine so guys this is this is five most important submitting question in next video we will discuss five more question till then stay safe guys if you like this video please hit on like button that's all for today bye bye